Indian ed tech giant Baiju's has seen dizzying success during the pandemic, adding millions of subscribers to its user base as schools remained closed. But from complaints about sales techniques and claims of a high-pressure work environment, the BBC has learned of several allegations against the company as it pursued its hyper-growth path. Baiju's has denied these allegations. Nikhil Lenambar with this report from Mumbai. It's the sponsor of the Indian cricket team and endorsed by Bollywood's biggest superstar. But according to some, the online education company Baiju's is not without problems. Their sales representative came home and asked my son lots of difficult questions which he couldn't answer. My child and I were completely demotivated after their visit. This is Digambar Chaudhary, a parent. His story is not unique. The BBC has spoken to several former employees and customers in our investigation into the company's selling tactics. Parental anger against Baiju's is growing, at least from some of its customers. Their allegations, pushy salespeople selling expensive courses to parents, difficulty in getting refunds and a lack of customer support after a sale is made. In online forums, scores of positive reviews and happy parents, but also hundreds of complaints from unhappy customers. Baiju's denies all these allegations, but there have been at least three cases where Indian consumer courts have ordered Baiju's to even pay damages in disputes related to refunds and deficiency of services. Baiju's told the BBC settlements in these cases had been reached and their grievance redressal rate was as high as 98%. We'll click on start for free. Nidish Roy left his job at Baiju's earlier this year after a two-month stint selling its courses. He claims there was pressure to reach unattainable sales targets and a profit at any cost culture. It does not matter if he's a farmer, he's a rickshaw puller, it doesn't matter. Because we have to sell. It has become a revenue generating machine at the cost of teaching students. In a response to the BBC, Baiju said, there's a zero-tolerance policy for any type of abuse, bad behaviour or manipulation. We are a growing company and are always open to feedback that can help improve our processes. The company also told us they have a renewal rate of 85% for their programmes and a no-questions-asked 15-day refund policy for products and any-time refund policy for services. The allegations against Baiju's have a particular resonance in a country like India where education is often the only ticket up the social ladder. Many parents here often pour their life savings into giving their kids a leg up. Critics of Baiju's argue it's time to crack down on these businesses, similar to how China has banned for-profit education technology companies. So, you know, you see all these headline numbers with so many millions raised and the world's most valuable edutech startup and so many billions pre-money valuation. All these are pointless vanity metrics. I think at some point, we can't afford to forget education like healthcare is the public good. And here, I have a card. For now, the government hasn't stepped in. Many are making the case for online education companies to be held more accountable. Nikhil Ananda, BBC News, Mumbai. Well, staying in India, the country has signed an array of trade and arms deals with Russia following President Putin's visit where he met with Prime Minister Modi. The leaders have pledged to boost annual trade between the two nations to some $30 billion by 2025. Toyota has announced that it 